The World Wide Web is crammed full of millions of sites on any topic you could ever imagine, from selling original A-team figures to blogging about Star Wars. It seems the world and his wife are getting their thoughts and ideas out to the world, and so can you. Building your own website doesn't have to be expensive and it's really easy. All you need is an idea of what you're going to put on it, what it's going to look like and what you're going to call it. Here's the Gadget Show's guide to building your own website. Now the first thing you need to think about is content. Making your website about something you're interested in is really important as it will encourage you to keep it updated with things like blogs and pictures. So I've decided to make a tech blog where I can post details on the latest gadgets I get to play with. Next you need somewhere to host your website. I've gone for www.homestead.com which basically enables you to create your website from scratch even if you've never done it before. It's full of templates for everything from page setups and colours to logos making your site fully customisable. All you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions. Choose your page layout and where you want to put your pictures and text. I quite like the look of this template, it's called High Tech. As you can see it's got a nice blue layout and space down the side for my pictures and in the centre for my blog. So I've chosen the template of my website, I just need to add the content now. So I need to click the Edit Your Site tab and this will bring up some software called Site Builder which comes free with homestead.com. It's a basic package that will allow me to add text, pictures and change the colour of my site. There is a more comprehensive version of Site Builder available for free and will give you more freedom and flexibility for the functions you want to add to your website. But I'm going to use the basic package to start off with. I just need to change the title of the tab and then I can get busy adding my photos and my blog. Finally, you need to choose the domain name. This is the www address of your site. You just enter your preferred name into this box here and it will search the web and bring back all the different variants that are available. I'm going to go for www.tech-loaf.com. You can now upload your brand new website directly to this domain for the world to see.